Wabonzi Valley leads the Illinois West in scoring with 133 goals and second best in the division in goals against, allowing only 53, taking on a young Naperville North squad. No score midway through the first, Michael Hall with the dish to Mickey Levy. His shot is stopped, Hall's attempt doesn't make it to the net, but Dylan Hammond sends home the loose puck to give the Huskies a 1-0 lead. A little more than a minute later, Dub V gets on the board. Arnu Ferrara with the hand-eye coordination deflects the Sam Capadona shot from the blue line, tying the game at one. Late in the first, Jake Stobart picks his spot and beats Lesky Kilcher for his 28th goal of the season. Dub V on top 2-1. About a minute left in period number one with Bonzi using its speed and passing to get by the Husky D. Jake Serino freezes the Lesky Kilcher in his crease, making it 3-1. It's now 4-1 early in the second. Bonzi on the power play and Stobart just carving through the Huskies PK for his second goal of the game. Less than 10 to play in the period, Evan Pike creates some space, fires the wrister for his second goal of the game. Tack on another goal in the third, add four assists, and you have yourself a seven-point night. Wabonzi getting big nights from his top players. Arnu Verroer deflects the shot from the point, giving him the hat trick. But Dub V had to do some work for its goals. Kilcher had 41 saves through two periods, including this glove save robbing Jackson Kozari. Kozari would be denied again late in the second off this blast from the point, but that's because Stobart would get credit for the deflection on the score sheet. Stobart ends the night with six points as Wabonzi rolls, now two wins shy of the school record. It's a lot of fun. You get to boost up your stats. Uh, you got everyone working together, lots of people on the scoreboard, two people with hat tricks. Uh, just when the team clicks like that, it's a real good seat coming towards the end of the year when playoffs are right around the corner. You know it's not going to be like the hardest game, but you have to start off strong, uh, do everything right, and then just go on from there, bury the puck, and just play your game. It's a big confidence builder, really, for everyone. You got everyone scoring all the lines. We had a couple people with hat tricks, a couple people with multiple goals, uh, and, and especially like the younger guys. We brought up some JV players today, so it's good for them to get get some experience during the game. The defense played uh, very well in front of me. They managed to keep the puck in the other team's zone. Uh, one of the things that they did was move the puck well. And we, uh, it started off uh, a little shaky for us, but then as the game went on, we we got uh, back in uh, after that three goals in the end of the first, and we got back. It's got a lot better than we were planning, but we just gotta keep going. Two more wins and we'll set a score record, so that's our main focus right now. We gotta take that going into playoffs. I was skating down uh, the far boards and uh, the guy was trying to catch up to me. Uh, Cope, Cope hit me with a nice pass from the center and I used my speed and my body to get around the guy and uh, made a move on the goalie and, and tucked it back down, so it was a nice goal.